All right, anglers. Today, we're gonna talk about the non-slip loop knot. This is one of my favorite loop knots because it's fast and easy to tie. It's strong, and as an added bonus, the final knot points the tag in back towards the lure, which gives it a weedless effect. I'm not gonna say it's weedless, but you can't catch fish if you're catching weeds, and this definitely helps. If you're using an artificial lure, this knot allows the lure to have a lot more action in and on top of the water. We're gonna be doing this a lot. I'm gonna be giving you guys fishing tips, how to tie knots, all sorts of good stuff is coming your way. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Let's get knotty. All right guys, the first thing you wanna do before you even run the line to the lure is make an overhand knot. We're just gonna cross the line, run it back through, and then we have our overhead knot. We wanna make this part about the size of a Skittle while leaving about three to four inches so you have room to do the rest of the knot. That looks about perfect. Next, we're gonna run the line through the lure and then back through this knot. I like my line to be on top. So that's the direction we're going. You also wanna make sure you run back through the same way that you came out. The first mistake people make is they do not make their loops small enough. So what you wanna do is you wanna make that knot about the size of a Skittle, just re-get it about the size of the Skittle, and then you wanna bring it all the way to the eye of your lure. Now you want to pinch it before you wrap the line around the lure two times. Then we're going back in the same way with the lines on the side we're coming in from, not the circle. And you wanna go in between all of these things. Once you have that, you wanna leave your knot kind of pinched up there while you tighten down the rest of it. And once you get about here, you wanna go ahead and lubricate your line before you tighten up the rest of the knot. So remember, lick it before you cinch it. We have our knot lubricated, so we're just gonna grab our lure, we're gonna grab our main line, and we're gonna tighten it all down. Now that we have it all tightened down, next you wanna trim the tag end off. And as you can see, our loop is not big enough to go back over the head of the lure. And that's what we want. Again, just double check your knot. Give it a good pull. As you see, this end faces back towards the lure. So while it's swimming through the water, while this end is swimming through the water, you don't have to worry about it getting snagged on weeds. You'll know you didn't tie this knot quite right if this tag end is pointing back towards the main line. You want it pointing back towards the lure. Not only does it give it that weedless effect, it also gives it its strength. If it's not pointing this way and the other way, you don't have a very strong knot. And before you go make, making mistake number three, this knot isn't for everything. If your lure already has a slip ring on it, like this one does, then you don't want to use it. If you're using live bait, you don't want to use it. You're better off using a tight knot like the Palmer knot, which I'm going to show you right here in this video. Thanks for joining me, and as always, stay fishy, friends.